done 19 comrades so far. Uh, hopefully going to complete the 20th this year. Uh, it's also done the last nine in a cow suit. So a lot of people ask us, why on earth would you run in a cow suit? Why woolen, heavy, you know, uncomfortable uh, type of uh, apparel? There's so many light things out there. Um, simple reason, it's that um, when kids are diagnosed with cancer, they've got a long uphill battle against them. That's their time that they're going to go through and really, really struggle and battle. So for me, I've got maybe 12 hours of suffering out on the road, um, which is absolutely nothing in comparison um, to what those little soldiers are going to go through. I'm 45 days away from my third comrade. My most memorable one was most definitely the first one because it was a childhood dream that I'd actually reached. So the most challenging part of comrades, besides the physical training, is probably getting your family to do this with you because they literally are doing it with you and then also the eating the, the the healthy part of it you definitely your nutrition is very very important one needs to understand is that you need to eat and you need to eat right because if you don't eat come rest day you will suffer so when your muscle cramps on a rest day it's because there's something that you lack in your body when you've done a race on a sunday but you're still tired on thursday that's because you haven't been eating the right food so it's very important to watch your nutrition and know what your nutrition uh, will provide to your body. I'm really looking forward to um, to the, the Fit Chef meals that are going to be coming through. I always say like live clean, eat clean, whole foods and yeah, hopefully it's going to make a big difference to my to my race on, on the 10th of June. And obviously with the right nutrition, you your, the endurance lasts a lot longer and your body is well transformed and ready for, for the race. If there's anything in this um, five year journey that I've had is that it inspires others. And some people will call it boasting on Facebook, I call it encouraging others. And a lot of times people come to me and they say, what is it? What did you do? And I just tell them my journey and it's just to let people know that nothing is impossible to reach um, your dreams ever. Just keep going and it's, it's just the, the view from the top of the mountain is amazing.